Hello, I'm Chris Swaffer, Product Manager for All Things Notation at PreSonus. In this video, we're going to be looking at the new features added to the score editor in Studio One 5.1, including print, transposition, layout, and changing key with a new signature track. First off, let's talk about print. There are now two new page views alongside the existing continuous view. The first will show a full score page view of selected tracks in the track list. By default, it'll add your document name as title and composer. You can change these by clicking the text, which will take you to the Song Setup dialog. You can then set a different printed title to your document name. Next to that is the Single Track Page View, which will show you your currently selected track as a single part. And next to that is the Print icon. This button brings up the System Print dialog, whether you are on Mac or Windows. And you can hit Print or Print to PDF, which you can then share electronically. Now, of course, with Print comes a few more requirements for the score editor, from setting instrument transposition to choosing the score's paper size. You can now see two brand new tabs, Track and Layout. Let's look at Track first. Here is where we can change the full track name that will show on the first staff, the track name abbreviation that will show on subsequent staves, and the staff type, in this case Grand Staff for Piano, which has a staff for each hand. Under here you can also set the transposition. For example, a trumpet pitched in B-flat will sound a B-flat when playing a written C. So therefore their part needs to be adjusted one tone up to compensate. Now, that's all well and good if you know what the transposition is for an instrument and in which direction. And even if you do, there's always a bit of head scratching involved. So we added staff presets that you can apply to a track with one click that automatically sets this all up. So I want to give this part to a sax player, so I'm going to apply the alto sax preset. You can see it sets to the correct transposition of E-flat, and the printed notes and key have all shifted accordingly. Now, maybe the player in the session suggests trying this low bit on tenor sax, so you can just apply tenor sax, which will automatically change from E-flat to B-flat, plus one octave down, and you can quickly print off another part, or make a new PDF without a second thought. These staff presets not only set the correct transposition, but also the expected clef, the staff type, as well as the conventional staff name and name abbreviation. For example, you can set viola here, which will set the clef to alto clef automatically, and then set viola and VLA for the abbreviation. Same here for the double bass. Here setting the clef to bass clef, as well as setting the transposition to sounding one octave lower than written. Of course, when you're actually composing, you might not want to see these notes transposed until you come to print. So just go to Layout and then uncheck Enable Transposition. This will then show the whole score at normal concert pitch in C. So now we are here, let's look at this new Layout tab. At the top, this duplicates the buttons to choose your view. Here are options as to whether to view all tempo changes in the tempo track as metronome marks in your score, or just the initial marking. Then the page layout controls, which are only available when you are using a page view. You can change values of full score or the part independently. Just select the view first. So here we can change page size, orientation between landscape and portrait, page margins, the overall notation size, spacing between staves, spacing between systems, whether to have bar numbers on every bar, just on every system, or none at all, and overall text size and font. One important extra option, which is just available in the parts view, is multi-measure rests. This simply collates any consecutive bar rests into a single multi-measure rest, which is easier to read and count, and of course, saves some paper too. For more in-depth layout control, you can of course just send the score over to Studio One's sister application, Notion, with Song sent to Notion. 
you'll need to update to Notion 6.8 to transfer these layout and transposition settings with Studio One 5.1. If you have a Presona Sphere subscription, Notion is already poised and waiting to be downloaded from your account. So just one more thing. In 5.1, you can now add key changes mid-song to your Studio One file using the new signature track. This is a new global track where you manage both your time signatures and your key signatures. Let's have a look at how that affects the score view. Here's my signature track. I can add a key change at the point of the playback cursor by hitting the plus button or by right-clicking anywhere on the signature track. As you can see, this is automatically reflected in the notation and anything you then write in the score view will be spelt correctly. And by that I mean if you change the key to D major, you will then get C sharps, for example, and not D flats. And of course, if you are sending and receiving with Notion, key changes are now also sent. Again, you will need the Notion 6.8 update for this to work. There are also some improvements under the hood. For example, some changes to the notation conversion algorithm in 5.1 which should mean even cleaner and easier to read notation. But there is still much more to come, both for the score editor and for Notion itself. Let us know what you'd like to see next. Drop us a note at the feature request forum at answers.presonus.com or in the comments below. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.